do one hand first and I did this four nails and I did apply the beige gels already, but I'm prepped this one so then you can see it. Just using the primers first. Non acid primer. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Hi Brazil, how are you? Happy Friday, babe. All right, so here is a beige gels. I'm gonna do it just really, really thin coat. I'm doing it. This is my uh, dominant hand. Is that right? I think so because I'm a right handed. So I'm going to hang it in the air right now. But if you feel like you want to get something to rest on, um, either you can roll, if you don't have the arm um, rest, you can using the rolls of the uh, paper towel. Um, yeah, paper towel. Or you can using, um, I don't know which one is this. All right, so I'm going to clear this for 10 seconds. But if you're doing your nails, you can do all five nails first. And then here, I didn't do this one yet because I don't, I'm going to touching this. So I'm not going to um, do it now, but I'm going to do it like in a few minutes after I finish with the right hand. So this one, I don't do anything yet. And then this is a stiletto medium that I have the size right here. And this is almonds medium that I just had it um, just now and I remove it. Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. So... And last few videos, I share with you how you can do really quick, simple, and super easy and really high quality, like salon quality for your clients. Now it's time for you to take care of yourself and have a nice nails for you. And okay, so done. So here is stiletto medium and it's go in uh, 600 tips and it's really cool to go half size. So if you, a lot of questions were asking what if, your thumb is really big so you should if you're big you feel like you need a size like um a little bit wider i would jump into a stiletto long stiletto extra long stiletto longs were able to cover a lot of things for you so um my thumb is really wide as well and i go with size zero and i size them really all of them and i did what you do you're gonna do it side from a side wall to the side wall you make sure that it's not overlap on the nails like get it off from your edges and also you don't want to get it missing the edges of your nails i don't know if you can see that you want to make sure that it covered completely from a side wall to the side wall and really cool important i am i don't have to edges like you do not have to edges etchings all of the underneath of the tips and on the top you can do it later as well i'm going to show you and um what i'm doing is using the beige gel what it does the beige gel i'm just applies where is the spot part is going to adhere to my natural nails i did all 10 of them already to save our time then you just like apply thin coat of a beige gel right here you can see the little um the little shines from the beige gels and then you just apply it here for 10 seconds then you don't have to etching at all what it does is really cool is sandwich and later we're going to apply the tip um extension glue gels on what it does it have the beige gels on the tip it have the beige gels on there are natural nails it will protect first of all this one will adhere really well your tip extension to your beige gel and the beige gel what it does is really protecting on the natural nails and give another layer and the strength on it instead of etching this and make this tip thinner and the quality of the tips is really high premiums quality so if you're bending it it doesn't make any even any mark at all like not even the cloudy or the white marks so i'm gonna go ahead and i'll show you so what we need to do is using the tip extension glue gel you ready so we are going to get one fold like kind of an ankle beads and a fold size of one bristle and we need this um can you show in the camera that all three let's see them huh keep it on i mean no this one we need that uh we need the um plus light all right, so I'm going to do, you just need to apply this right in the tips uh, on the key go area, right? And then all you need is do it 45 degree angle. So I am doing it right now is my dominance hand. So I'm using a non-dominance and do my dominance hand. And then 45 degree angle and goes really slow, really, really slow. Don't squeeze it too hard. 
because you don't want to squeeze all of your gels outside. Hold it. 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you start feeling it solid. And then you are going to let it go. And what it does, if you're feeling it's getting like the excess glue gels, I mean tip extension glue gel so you're gonna just clean it right here and then we're gonna etch it on that in a little bit okay i'm gonna leave the the look at that how the a uh, c curve it perfects on the size and then we're gonna do a full cure in 60 seconds later when we finish so moving on the next one i did side my and i have a side three here again tip extension glue gels and one ankle beads. Just need to apply it right in the the well. Of the cuticle area. And then we are going to turn. This is like. Keep in mind this is my non-dominant hand. Doing it for my dominant hand. So keep it straight. Because my. Um index is kind of uh, really different sizes all right i mean it looked like a crooked for me so i'm push it down 45 degree angle and now you can cure it about 10 seconds i feel it's solid though And then if you need it, you can clean on the edges. Okay. Moving on the next one. I keep it straight like this. So then I get my fingers tips and the tips going straight. Apply the third one tip extension. I feel like my nail is really nice and solid right now. And for all of you just tuning in, welcome to Glitz Accessory and Such Life tutorial. Happy Friday. Hope you all have a fabulous Friday. For all of you just tuning in, I did have a bay gel underneath of the um, tips. And then I apply the tip extension glue gels on the well of the um, underneath of the tips. So I'm going to do it's 45 degree angle. And slightly, just really gentle, press it down. Ready? And just take your time. Do not rush, rush, rush. Because it's, if it rush and you push it really fast down, what it does is going gonna, is gonna to squeeze a lot of the gels off from your tips. And it's going to make it even mess. So you see that it's just only 10 seconds. It doesn't take that much. And then wipe off whatever that excess. And we can buff and clean it later. And it's really solid though. Moving on, the rings fingers. It's really cool though. Stiletto medium. It looks really cool and long to me. I feel like long to me. So it's up nice as one full half size of the bristle with the fill up with the tip extension. And then is I'm gonna turn it. Oh, actually didn't heat it, but it's okay. 45 degree angle. And then I'm gonna gently is push it down okay sorry okay here here you go 10 seconds i start feeling it's solid though and just don't push it really hard push a little bit can you do one more Just really not, just about good pressure. You don't want to be too aggressive. And using the twin tip brush and clean the excess. And then later, I'm going to using the top coat and and um and finish it. I always coat it underneath, when especially when I do a clear tips. 
I love it because it not only looks shiny, it's also a blending. You don't, when I put the top coat, you don't even see the number underneath of the tips at all. It's going to be blending so well. So here's a pinky. We're going to need less uh, tip extension glue gels and less. Okay. Turn it. I'm going to apply it right on the wells of the tip. I'm going to hold it using one of two of your fingers and hold it. If you are doing it for yourself and then again, 45 degree, you're going to do 45 degree. And then you are going to slide it like really gently down, press it down. All right. Thank you. And then when you see your tip extension glue gels, is meeting right on the free edges of your tips and then at that time you are going to flash cure it for 10 seconds oh my gosh it feels so solid 